Well, my friends, it's Amy, and I'm your sewing teacher. And today, I have all of these packages oh, that have arrived for the fashion class. So I have a great benefactor, and her name is Manda Elias, and she owns a company in Quebec called Atelier Fiber Arts. Can I tell you, this woman is fantastic. She has some of the best bag hardware I have ever seen. It is wonderful. Now, what I wanna share with you today is not her lovely bag hardware. However, you will see some because there is one in this box right here. But I wanna share with you that when she found out that my fashion class runs on donations, she was like, sign me up, tell me where I can ship it, I'm sending you some stuff. So I thought today that we could do some really great unboxing, yay, so much fun. And then I'm gonna box it back up and I'm gonna send it off to school. Now, if you didn't see the other video that was just posted last week, I have cancer. And that means that I am in treatment and I'm not working at the school right now. So I have a really great friend who is a French teacher at our school, who is a sewist, who has taken on my class. And I am so excited for her to get a chance to try out teaching the class. I might have to share with her when I return. <laughs> But I really think that it will be a phenomenal chance for her to see what it's like to teach the class. And it'll be really great for the students to have a different teacher. But we still have the same budget. So any kind of donations like this come in handy. Well, I don't even have regular scissors in here. That's not good. I wonder what I can use to open a, box, a package. Anything, anything sharp? Um, I don't know. Let's see. There, that should work. Let's see. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay. So I did tell you that Manda has a company called Atelier Fiber Arts and she sells, oh, what'd she do? Okay. She, and that she sells the best bag hardware. I have this like dream of making a bag called the Moonwake and I'm going to show you a picture of it right now. This bag is probably what I'm going to have to start working on now that I'm home and in treatment. So I bought the hardware kit from her that has all of the hardware. If you're not a bag maker, um, or if, even if you are a bag maker, I don't know if you know that you can buy whole kits from some places. And when you buy the whole kit, that means that you are all ready to go and you don't have to worry about you know nitpicking through all your hardware to try and find the right pieces so she I just want to share this with you because it's beautiful and I think I think I'm gonna make the bag in navy blue but I'm not too sure yet but let me show you how she's done this so she's packaged up all of these pieces in Ziploc bags. Oh, she even included a little screwdriver for the Chicago screws. Look at these rainbow pieces. These are all the rainbow hardware that you need to make the Moonwake. Oh, okay. If this doesn't get me sewing a Moonwake, I don't know what will. The Moonwake hardware. Let me show you an up close of this. Let's see what she sent us. Oh, so much stuff. <gasps> okay. Now, 
Oh, look at that. Look at those threads. That's a box full of fantastic thread. 400 meters of brown thread and some alphabet stencils. Ooh, snap pliers. Isn't that nice? My class will totally get some use out of those. I have some onesie patterns. The kids always love to make giant onesies for themselves. That's awesome. Oh, what else? So much fun. Oh, loopy cord. The kids can make themselves some craft, some craft um, bracelets. I used to make these in camp. That's so much fun. And she's got some little Stand up storage boxes, that'll be useful in the classroom, that's for sure. What she got in this one? Oh, snaps to go with the snap pliers. Look at all of the big, oh, oh, she's so awesome. Look at that. White pastels, oh, school colors, everybody. School colors. <laughs> Look at all the snaps. So these snaps, for people that don't know, um, they can be used on, you know, things like onesies. You can put them on shirts and just have snaps on a shirt. You can use them on bag making if you wanted to have a wallet with a, with a, with a strap that maybe went over your cards. Um, any, really anything that you need to hold down, these snaps are good. They do, Babyville uh, Boutique is who this is from. Um, and then you use these pliers and they just... Go right on top. They snap right in. That's awesome. That's so exciting. Okay. Put those down. I love that they're school colors. She didn't even know what one of her school colors were. That's great. And another storage bin. Another fabric storage bin. That's good. Oh, and we got some more bracelet loopies. More bracelet loopies. This one looks like it's glow in the dark. That's great. A rotary blade. Titanium rotary blade. So if you don't know what a rotary blade is, a rotary blade can go into a rotary cutter. And this one is a wavy one. So it's kind of like a, a pinking shear. That's awesome. And what else have we got? We've got a marking tool for tracing. Let's see what that is. There you go. And a razor. Oh, these are excellent for seam ripping um, and for cutting. You can use this for uh, paper if you're somebody who needs paper cutting or you can use it for fabric if you keep it nice and sharp. And what have we got here? Some monogram stencils. And some, oops, oops, dropping things. <gasps> some good scissors. We can never ever have too many pairs of good scissors in our classroom. She gave us some good scissors. Excellent. Some fabric with some really cute dogs and sailboats and whales and umbrellas. These will be good for the help yourself pile of fabric at school where the kids can help themselves and we don't have to police their use of the fabric. And we have some binding extra wide double fold binding in fuchsia and white. So exciting. Yeah, some more thread here. Let's see what color. Some more brown thread. Excellent. And then we have some pre-cut fabrics. So kids can easily start with quilting. That could be one of the very first projects they start with. Quilting is a really great starting project um, because it's all straight lines. So really all the kids have to know how to do is straight lines and um, they need to know how to press. It's really great exercise. 
So that's excellent. Pre-cut. Love it. Okay, that was box number one. Okay. So we have some knit fabric. Some stretch to it. Yep. Oh, that would be a, a great little skirt. Maybe a little short top. That's really awesome. And some lace. And some more snaps. Oh, lots of snaps. Lots of snaps. So let's see what else we have. We have some floral tape. Oh, well, you know what? Floral tape would be good for laying tape as straight lines. That would be good. And some little Christmas decorations. Sometimes the kids get into making Christmas decorations for home. And we have some upholstery piping. That's really good for bags, actually. That'd be really awesome for them. And there's some more. Some more, oh, some fringe. They can make decorative pillows with that. And we have a hundred little crown, a hundred little crown um, patches. That'd be fun. making more decor pillows and can never have enough elastic and oh some lightweight ribbing yep that would be excellent you can never have enough ribbing ribbing super expensive too for those of you that make um, sweaters with cuffs I, I teach the kids how to make a cuff like this because it's cheaper um, because they're just using the regular fabric. But sometimes you just having a ribbed cuff and a ribbed bottom cuff, it's just nice. That's great. Oh my, what's this? Oh, pencil sharpener. Uh, we use pencil sharpeners. This isn't a, a battery operated one. Um, I actually use pencil sharpeners to sharpen regular chalk, like chalkboard chalk. Um, and then the kids, if, the, if their kids choose to use chalk, then they can have a sharp edge on their chalk. Um, if they don't use um, the leftover bits of soap, because I did explain how leftover bits of soap just wash out when you use that to draw onto fabric. Um, and so it is really great and it's free. Um, so, uh, but sometimes, the chalk doesn't show up on the fabric if it's a white fabric or a light fabric. So sometimes you have to use chalk and I all have a ton of old chalk like blue and brown and weird colors that we don't use as teachers anymore. Um, and so we use it in the sewing room. So having a dedicated pencil sharpener is awesome. Buttons, oh, so many buttons. That's great. You can never have enough buttons either. We do some stuffed animal projects and we use buttons for eyes. Um, and then in the advanced classes, the kids actually often will make um, something that has buttons. So they'll do a button up shirt or a dress that has buttons in the, in the back. So that's great. And mask elastic. You can never have enough mask elastic either. Um, that's one of the very first projects we have the kids do is making masks. So that's awesome as well. And now we're into the last box. Look at us breezing through this. No problem. So much fun. Let's see. Here we go. So we've got some beautiful fabric. That'd be good for mask making. Good for doll making. Oh, and look at all the buttons. More bulk, more bulk buttons. Really, really great. What else do we have? Oh, patches for repairing. That's another thing that we try to teach the kids is we try to teach them how to repair their own clothes because that's how we're gonna help save the environment and keep things out of the landfill. And actually it's really great because um, the class we do a recycle project and the kids learn how to keep, you know, um,
clothing that they don't like anymore out of the landfill by making it into something else. Something like this, actually, we do, we do take a lot of um, men's t-shirts and um, denim jeans and we make these little storage fabric storage containers and they are an excellent scrap buster or recycle project just so you know oh and I know where Amanda got this knit this knit came from um, a fabric testing that we did and this is really really a nice knit fabric so that's gonna make a really great something for somebody and some more patching and I like visible mending Visible mending is when if you're supposed to be able to see that it's been mended. Oh, some more knit in the mushroom co color. And oh my. Well, I'll be sharing this with the crafts class. Holy moly, look at this. These are all, oh, there's more. Holy smokes. Oh, and there's little tiny ones. Okay, these are knitting needles. And there is like every size from medium down. And these, even the tiny, tiny ones, the tiny ones are great for when you're making socks or if you're making those little tiny stuffed animals. Anyway, thank you so much. I will share this with the crafts class. They will love that. We don't take the time to learn how to knit in fashion class. Uh, if they already know how to knit, then they can knit as part of their projects. But I just, I don't take the time to teach them that. Then there's a whole like box of zippers. I'm not going to take this out. But there's like a ton of zippers here. And we sort our zippers in the classroom. And, oh, the last thing in the box happens to be in the school colors. This is so funny. Our school colors are orange, like this, orange, and royal blue. Orange and royal blue. So she's packed a sample package here. Um, samples are another thing that you can use um, as recycle projects. And these are huge samples. I mean, each one is pretty big. And actually, this will be really great for mask making. Also, this is the Robert Kaufman sample chart. This is great. And that's everything. Thank you, Amanda. This whole table full of stuff will get used at school for sure. I will send it off today and it will get used right away. So thank you very much to Amanda uh, Elias of Atelier Fiber Arts. She has a great shop on the internet uh, if you wanna check it out. She also has a group on Facebook and I will add those links below. This kind of content where I'm going through um, donations for the classroom doesn't happen very often. I did one last year, but uh, it's kind of fun to do an unboxing. So I just wanted to share this with you. And I wanted to see what the classroom was going to get before it went off to the classroom. So thank you very much for watching. If this is the kind of content that you like, or you like to know about hints uh, for budget savvy sewists, or you want to sew along with some um, different projects with me, please click subscribe below and it will notify you if you click that bell every time that I put up a video. So it was so nice to see you and I will see you again soon. Have a great day.